when I put this set on, it just feels like it belongs in your perfume collection. <laughs> fashion and all things feminine from budget all the way to luxury and today we're on the luxurious end with a house called Parfum de Marly and this French house is absolutely stunning and it's a house that I found through just very feminine amazing scents this house is one of the few niche houses that actually caters to female scents Many of the niche houses try to stay in that unisex place, which I completely understand. In today's age, people are challenging those precepts of femininity and masculinity. Um, but there's nothing, absolutely nothing wrong with engaging into your feminine side. And these scents are extremely feminine and extremely well done. The bottle, which I'll put up here, is absolutely gorgeous and it's a centerpiece for your vanity. Now, the first fragrance I will talk about was the first one I discovered, which was Parfum Samarly Original Zelina. The notes for this one are bergamot on the top, along with nutmeg, rhubarb, and miche. And that rhubarb note is the one that is well known to be a little bit um, tart and kind of stand out in that opening. Coming down, you have a Turkish rose, a vetiver, an incense and a cedar wood. So the middle is kind of that um, deeper sense that we all love, the rose. I seem to prefer Turkish rose. It seems to be, seems often to be less um, vintage smelling, not quite fresh, but kind of current and modern. A vetiver, an incense, which are those more smoky scents, and then the cedar wood, which brings um, a nice sweeter wood. The base is a vanilla, which we all absolutely adore, with cashmere and musk. So a really beautiful ending on that one. And the mood on this is said to be feminine, delicate, and sensual. It comes in a 2.5 ounce, with like I said, the most beautiful bottle that I just keep dreaming about. And it retails around $320. And let me tell you, this perfume, um, along with the other one I'm about to talk about, are simply spring in a bottle, ladies. I had to put on my pink lipstick. I always wear pink, but I felt like it was so appropriate for this scent. When I put this scent on, it just feels like it belongs in your perfume collection. It's like, honestly, I've smelled a ton of perfumes. I sniff them all the time, but this one just stands out as a stunner. And... Um, it's spring in a bottle. Okay, so for the Delina exclusive version, we have notes of bergamot, which we've heard before, pear, and miche. So they took out that rhubarb note. And in the middle, we have the Turkish rose, incense, which we had before. And instead of those kind of um, sweeter woods, we have an oud a little bit louder. And then the base is amber, wood, wood and vanilla so we added amber so the mood for that one is mysterious so it's kind of the richer sister as they say some people call it the big sister of the parfums de marley delina um, line and i would have to agree this one is so powerful you just need a little bit and i actually sprayed it at night because i wanted to experience it when i got it i was so excited and let me tell you <laughs> I could smell it the next day on my clothes, so I would not recommend putting this on your clothes at all. Um, and I would really just recommend doing one spray maybe on your wrist so that you're not overwhelmed by it. But if you do it that way, it's truly one of the most beautiful floral scents that I've ever uh, really, truly experienced. And it just spoke so much to spring to me. Um, you know, I've, when you are a lover, a frag lover like myself and probably you, it comes to the point where you are just more so um, in love with the experience that a fragrance can give you. And this one can give you an amazing experience of spring. Um, I love my cozy vanilla scents. And not to say this one doesn't have a nice actual vanilla um, base note that you can smell 
um, at the end of the performance of this. But in the spring, it's time to get up. It's time to go outside. It's time to get back in shape. It's time to experience the outdoors, get up a little bit earlier, maybe stay up a little bit later because we got things to do. The winter is over and rebirth is here. And that's what this fragrance does for me. So if you are in the mood to get into the mood of spring, these two fragrances are where it's at. And for me, the oud was a tiny bit possibly on the more powerful side than I loved. Um, it almost became, it was so strong, it almost became a chemical. I'm an over sprayer, so I'm gonna continue to play with this one. But I think that um, I'm very much happy with the original. And I could just add a little more vanilla or even add a little oud um, to the fragrance to really create the Delina exclusive and exclusive, excuse me. So I would definitely recommend getting a decant. You can, I'll link below where I plan on getting my 10 milliliter decants. These are three, um, where I plan on getting my uh, eight or 10 milliliter decants for an awesome price. Now, I would recommend always sticking to the house websites. I really prefer doing that, but I will talk about two that um, seem to have a wonderful reputation of being authentic. Um, if you want to save a little bit of money. I will do that for the decants a lot of times or the smaller ones, but when it goes to that full bottle, when I'm ready to purchase the full bottle of these, I will go right to the website because I um, enjoy getting the free samples of sometimes the new releases that they have out. And um, I know that it's authentic, you know, and if you ever do resell, you can always say, hey, I got it right from the site. So it's 100%, no problems. Um, that's my my personal preference so if you are um, a rose lover um, a modern rose lover now you don't have to be um, kind of a vintage smelling rose kind of that modern new rose that is overpowering but it's very pretty um, if you're looking to have a little effervescence into your life the rhubarb becomes especially uh, the rhubarb in the original becomes almost like a sparkling champagne in my opinion because uh, champagne is a little bit dry and a little bit um, not it's actually not sweet it's a little tart so that's how I kind of liken this smell it's it's um, kind of tart but it's in a way that you kind of want it to be you know if champagne was super sweet sometimes we're like oh that's too much so um, with that I think it adds a beautifulness to it if you are ready to step into the niche world if you want a feminine scent and you know if you're ready to do that i think that these are really for you now I, like i said i always recommend decanting um but it would but i honestly if you think all those things are true about you i dare you i dare you <laughs> no don't come for me <laughs> but i dare you to just go by and by if you're ready if you're ready um i'm looking forward to possibly getting a full bottle for my around my birthday time which is in august I'm not sure if it'll hit that same way though. It's just such a spring spring bottle for me because of that effervescence, because of that sharp note. Um, you know, I actually did, I, my husband didn't give me a compliment on the original, which I'm thinking, so now I'm going back and forth. Did not get a compliment on the original, but my husband did compliment me on the exclusive, then he said it was strong. But that's because, like I said, I'm an over sprayer. Um, so, guys, um, tell me down below, which one of these fragrances that you would would choose? The Delina over, you know, by the notes and by my description, would you choose Delina or Delina Exclusive? It's gonna be that spring girl. All right, guys. I had so much fun filming this video. Um, follow me on Instagram if you'd like to know when I end up purchasing the decant in the full bottle. Um, I'm looking forward to it. And if you wanna talk fragrances, I'm there for you as well. All right, have a great day and we'll see you next time.